There's this one celebrity whose house I'm absolutely obsessed with, and that is Chrissy Teigen and her home with John Legend and their kids. And the other day when I was doing my routine, like once a month Google of Chrissy Teigen's house, I realized it had gone up for sale which means you get to see all the pictures of it. And I was so excited, I decided that I wanted to share it with you guys here today. I even showed James, I like messaged it to him. I was like, you have to see this because this is my dream. <laughs> so this is the first lounge room, I suppose. And this listing is on Douglas Elliman. They're asking for a cool 24 million. Woo! It's got seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and it's a single family home. I think this is like a steel rolled wall and I think it's so pretty. Look at this light. It kind of looks like crystals hanging down and the lounges look so comfortable. I just want to curl up on them. And then there's a lot of Thai influence that you can see around the house as well. One of my favorite things that I've seen in some of her stories are these coffee tables. If anyone knows who they're by, I love them. They're just so organic looking. It's just so earthy. If I lived here, I'd feel like a really bougie cave woman. This is the exterior. The exterior of the house is actually quite plain and simple when it comes to homes that are worth like $24 million. This is quite a simple looking home on the exterior, which is kind of nice. It's kind of refreshing. You can see how high the ceiling is and that looks like the hand carved roof here, which is pretty amazing. And this is cool. Even this plant pot over here has got holes in it. There's like plants coming out of it. I love that. So this would be the entrance. Imagine driving into that and being like, welcome home. So this is the entrance. And this is really cool because there's like this gorgeous walkway over the entrance, which I really, really like. I love this. I think it was actually built in the 60s and Rihanna used to live here and they gave it like a complete facelift. But this does feel a little bit 60s, this staircase. That white kind of curved stair and this retro feeling brass balustrade. It's really nice. And I do like how the entrance, it doesn't have a whole heap of furniture. Like it's quite empty really. But because there's so many different features and textures, it just looks like space, not emptiness. And these cushions around the piano are so pretty. I'm pretty sure this fireplace is like a double-sided fireplace with a TV on either side and over here would be the dining room. So that's the walkway above and these are the little poofs around the piano which are really sweet. You can imagine people just like sitting on those cushions just lazing about while someone plays the piano. There's also a lot of like very subtle split leveling. It's not too crazy. It's just like little steps up and down which is also really practical too especially if you have kids, you don't want them like falling down split, split leveling. Oh, he's even got a YouTube plaque in there. I've got one of those. So here's that stunning lounge room. Absolutely love it. And then this is the other side of the lounge room. So it does have a TV on the other side. It's interesting because this TV looks slightly smaller, which uh, fits this um, separation block. Oh, there's a doggy over there. How cute. And then this is like the big TV, which I suppose you can see more easily from the kitchen. But I love all of this like little brass or hints of luxury brass decor. Lots of plants and greenery. Obviously, the kitchen's going to be a masterpiece kitchen, probably like a chef equivalent kitchen because Chrissy Teigen has cookbooks and does so much cooking. So the kitchen's just like beautifully designed. But again, it's kind of subtle and modest, even though it's completely luxurious. I wonder what these little things are on the wall. What are those? Are those light switches or power sockets? And look at these drawers. I love these handles. Those handles are everything and how the bench top has this like folded over waterfall edge so it's not as heavy it's just a little lighter like it's just been neatly folded like origami and i really like how these chairs are a beigey color to kind of match the light wood in the kitchen i love light wood in kitchens i like light wood anyway let's be honest and these lights kind of feel a little bit like mid-century vibes as well as the tap this would be a breakfast dining area so these chairs are they the exact same as these ones no they've got arms on them so they definitely unify the kitchen and this breakfast area and these paintings kind of unify the paintings that are in the entrance so there's this like continued continuity i guess throughout the the house which i really like <gasps> I love this like lightly folded lampshade too. The only thing about this is that it would get really dusty. I guess as a celebrity, you have people who clean your home so you don't have to worry about things like that. But I feel like that would get really annoying to clean. And these are cool. What are these like feathery things? 
And I love this light wood wall. This is so beautifully designed. It's absolutely flawless. Here's uh, looking back towards the other lounge room. This couch is a little more casual looking. The one in the formal lounge is a lot more luxurious with the velvet. So using textures to, I guess, communicate what kind of room and what kind of space it is, is a really clever thing to do. Oh my gosh, this outdoor area is insane. This is the dining room. So I feel like they went all out for the dining room. This is the, the space where like bougie comes into play. There's a lot of Thai influence in here. For me, I don't like this as much. I definitely like the cleanness of the rest of the house, but I think obviously for their family, this totally makes sense. But I do appreciate this gorgeous, gorgeous rug and these big brass doors. They look pretty awesome. And all of this wood and a lot of natural, like earthy influence and lots of influences from nature. This is the cinema room. I have a pet peeve. I don't like cinema rooms. I, I can't stand cinema rooms. I think it's because I personally do not enjoy watching movies. And I find these rooms are always so like closed up and claustrophobic feeling just because I'm the type of person who leans towards that. So I would not have a cinema room in my dream home, but I'm probably in the minority saying that. <laughs> and I wonder what these big books are for. I wonder what those are. I wanna know. But it's very pretty, very cozy looking. And I like that it's more contemporary and softer looking than a lot of the cinema rooms you see in mansions with like red velvet everywhere and like singular chairs. I don't understand why cinema rooms have like single chairs as if you wouldn't wanna cuddle up on a couch with people in a cinema room. So there you go, very nice. Lots of storage in there too, which is good to see. A little popcorn machine and lolly bar. This is a dream, I love this gym. Uh, I wouldn't know how to use half of this stuff, but I feel like if you're gonna have a house like this, you need a gym. <laughs> I would love to have like a, a yoga or meditation space near a gym too, like in another room off shooting from the gym. That would be so nice where it's just like a room that is really soundproof. This I assume would maybe be the master bedroom uh, unless they didn't want to show their master bedroom in the pictures, but I assume that's what this is. And I love it. It feels a little more relaxed than some people make their master bedrooms. Like some master bedrooms, I feel like people want to feel like royalty in them. Like a princess, big four poster beds, really glam, uh, lots of bedding and pillows and everything, which is fine, but that's just not for me. Like this to me is so nice because it's just clean. It's calm in some ways, it's very minimal, but in other ways it feels luxurious. And I love these chairs where you could just lie down. Again, this, I would really worry about dust in it, <laughs> to be honest, but if you're a celebrity, you don't have to worry about that. And I really like that the bed is low to the ground. I think ideally I would love to have like a low bed with a timber frame one day. Uh, kind of similar to this. And it kind of looks like a custom size. Maybe it is a king bed, but I know a lot of people have custom beds too with custom sheets, etc. And look at this, it's got the metal. Is this a chimney or is this like a fake fireplace with a, like what looks like a chimney? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. Love this fireplace. It's so pretty, so like soft and organic, all of the edges. And it's such a nice view. And the high ceilings are just everything. Love these chairs. I love them so much and I feel like this is a little fun corner because this is a really bright and colorful table. And this mirror is very mid-century looking with the curved edges and the brass sides. And it's really, really nice. This is like a concrete wall with soft like light patterns on it. Is that a pattern from the light hitting the wall or is that just like little painted leaves or something or to give the illusion of falling leaves? It's really nice. And then there's this walkway into what looks like the glam room, which in Hollywood, I think would make a lot of sense. Personally, I wouldn't need a glam room because <laughs> I'm in my hoodies most of the days, especially in isolation. This table's really interesting too. Love this, this picture as well. Uh, but the door's really quite, quite beautiful. I love that door. I'd love to know what it's made of. This mirror is really cool too. I love that. The beautiful ring light mirror. We like that because it, when you look in it, it shows your makeup in a really flattering way. So I imagine this chair is where nails can be done, hair can be done. The clothes rack is here with all of these gorgeous nightgowns. I love this shelving. It is so beautiful. This looks like a space that is being used a lot. 
just because of all of these personal things, like all of these photos and pictures and drawings. And it seems like a space where maybe the friends would sit to get ready with the celebrity or their family or the kids could be playing on the floor and it's just a really nice way for someone to get ready for work and big events. This is the bathroom, I assume to a master bedroom, perhaps? I am so surprised by the bathtub because the bathtub, don't get me wrong, is such a stunning design, but it's so small for this huge house. I feel like I would want like a big, circular bath or something like that if it was me, like something you can really spread out in. Um, but it's a very beautiful piece. So I, I found that really interesting. And these mirrors, uh, they kind of look like the same mirror that's in the bedroom. So again, it's got that continu continuality, continu cont continuity, continuity. <laughs> And I love these soft lights coming down. Aren't they so pretty, like rain droplets? And these sinks, I don't know what these sinks are made out of, but they kind of remind me of shells when you look through a perfectly polished shell, how the light kind of flows through. Like everything about this is really gentle, like these folded edges. <gasps> I am so obsessed with this house. And all of these like brass fittings and these woven baskets. I like that there's a seat in the shower too. That's actually quite practical. And this is really interesting too. It's just like a nice screen to screen off the shower with these like leaf-like shelves. That's something I haven't really seen before that I think is very gentle and peaceful looking. And that's a nice bathroom to share with your significant other and still have that bit of privacy, I think. Where's the toilet? The toilet must be in a separate room. Interesting. How nice is this cupboard space? This is really weird, but I'm always curious to see what color towels people have. I, because I always buy charcoal towels because I get makeup on the towels and I don't want them to stain. Usually makeup you can wash out of towels, but just in case, I just always have dark gray ones. But I think if I could have any towels and not really worry about staining them, white fluffy ones are probably what I would like. Lots of beachy things, like beachy shell type looking type things. That view is insane by the way. And I love how the blinds are just like neatly tucked into the window frame too. Now this is something that a lot of us love looking at and that's insane wardrobes. I think this wardrobe is very nice and quite minimal in terms of other wardrobes that I've seen online. I wouldn't be surprised if this extends into more than one room. And I would say a lot of this has been neatened up because I imagine there's a lot more clothes. <laughs> but I do like it. I do like how the drawers are neatly put in the cupboards. They have this like nice golden metal again, light woods, a gorgeous soft marble. That is a really nice wardrobe, there's no doubt about it. It's a dream wardrobe. And it's like all perfectly lit as well. Oh, okay, this seems to be the next room of the wardrobe, which is mainly for shoes and handbags. <laughs> Wow, look at these shoes up here. Those are crazy. So I'm, I, I do wonder why it's being photographed not full. I guess it looks better when it's not full. And also you might not want to show all of those expensive belongings too, because there's probably a privacy issue with that. I like this idea for boots and bags, like folding your boots in these glass separated compartments. That's really cool. Some amazing shoes. It's also interesting to see how this has been custom made to kind of fit the room. It goes up like this and then it joins the roof area. Again, I would have to dust this like every couple of months up here. Okay, the wardrobe does keep going. <laughs> Uh, and of course it's all pretty much similar throughout, except I think the male side of the wardrobe has this darker colored cabinets. Ooh, I like this, more hand carved wood as well. Lots of lighting, soft lighting, we love it. This looks like one of the kids' rooms or maybe like a guest kids' room. It's super cute. I've seen this, uh, this dog photography before, it's pretty, pretty cute and it's a very like joyous thing to have on the wall or joyful thing to have on the wall and how cute is this it's like a reading couch this room is nice and simple i love these these shapes on the wall too they're really really cool and hello bougie little sculpture there and this like fairy fairy light maybe but it looks really cute it looks like you could have a cuddle on the couch read a book it's not like 
the kid is super crazy spoiled in their bedroom, which I find is nice to see. It's just a really pretty room. An incredible room, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't seem like it's done in an over the top way. It just seems like it's done in a really nice and warm way. And it's got such a beautiful balcony too. And this must be the kids um, education area. There might've been a post about teaching the kids at home more. So I don't know if they did this after the whole COVID thing or if this has just always been a play area for the kids. But nonetheless, I think it is amazing. It's like an at home kindergarten. <laughs> And at home, amazingly designed kindergarten. So there's even this mini kitchen for the kids to cook in, chalkboard here maybe, uh, lots of things to cook with over here. Gorgeous little couch. I love these connecting coffee tables. This looks like a baby's room, obviously, with a really lovely little crib. Um, very soft, very soft colors and relaxing colors. Little change table. And then this is the outdoor area, which is insane. <laughs> There's a little uh, playhouse over here. I love this seating area and these, these tables. There's such an abundance of outdoor living in this house. I mean, I guess if you live in LA, the weather's always crazy beautiful, so or most of the time. And these pebble tables are probably my favorite thing. I love the pool. There's just so many areas you could see yourself sitting down or sunbaking on. And especially these lounges just here. And then just to finish it off, there's this gorgeous pergola area with vines over it. Barbecue area too. This is just so pretty to eat and have outdoor events underneath or just have people around. Have a glass of wine under your pergola. Okay, this is just making me wanna go on a vacation, to be honest, <laughs> on a holiday. Oh, and this is cool. It looks like this is shade fabric maybe, like a shade canvas, stretched shade canvas maybe within the pergola. Or maybe it's solid, I don't know, but it gave me the idea of canvas shades being within a canvas, which is quite clever. Oh my gosh, we can even get a tour of this place. I feel like I've already done so much talking, so we probably don't need to do the whole tour. Honey, I'm home. How pretty is this? Okay, now seeing it in video form is just, so epic. <laughs> I love those lights. Those are such cool lights. A lot of lights that hang from the roof, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm really into it, but these ones are so pretty. Look at that kitchen. That kitchen is insane. Do you ever feel like when you look at things you want to buy, you, saliv you salivate? That's what's happening to me right now. Oh, that's a bit cute. <laughs> Look at that roof. That's all hand carved, I'm pretty sure. So that is very impressive. Oh, Lulu's, how adorable. I wanna get glam in that room. Maybe that bathtub is actually bigger than it looks in the picture now that I'm looking at it. <gasps> Look at the wardrobe, so nice. So nice. Oh, such a cute bedroom. Oh, there's a guest room. We didn't see that, did we? Oh, kids organization. I know you moms out there wanna look at this kids organization and you dads as well. Look at this, this is cool. These like boxes you can put things in on the side. I think these kids really like cooking. They have a fake kitchen and a big real kitchen. Probably one of the kids can actually cook a bit and then the other kid isn't old enough yet. Oh, I wanna see this bird's eye view of the pool area. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if this is actually like a an outdoor rug type thing or if it's just like concrete. Look how nice those pebbles are. They look so good. Oh, and I love it when floor tiles go into the grass like this. Okay, can someone give me $24 million, please, so I can live here? <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. This is the cinema room, I think. So that means that there is a lot of light that can go in there, so it's not super claustrophobic feeling. I like that a lot. Okay, I'll take it. I will buy it. Sold. And, and we love, we love seeing environmentally conscious builds. Look at these solar panels. I like to see that. I don't think I can watch any more of this. Let's just finish up the video here. <laughs> Let me know what you think, you guys. Uh, comment down below. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dak, dak.